wonderful people hope you all have been doing great so this is Papasha with a brand new video tutorial showcasing the beautiful collection of paper from Bob and Betty this collection is uh, the one which I'm using today is floral nymph and it is so very exotic and beautifully designed by Deepika and you must believe me when I tell you each of the paper and tail us unique beautiful style of her in a very way well I can't really have enough of this gorgeousness so this paper pack has 12 different uh, designs and the quality is around 200 GSM so sufficient to make any altered projects mixed media art interdimensional art and they are so beautiful and the floral that comes in pastel colors yellow and pink oh they are really amazing so um, Today what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a small mini album with different flaps and folds and accordion style of uh, photo mats and then I'm going to make a small mini jewelry as well which you can wear it as a bracelet or you can use it as a uh, binding for your album just to wrap it up in style with a vintage effect. So as you can see, I'm using the paper cutter, it's from Tonic Team Coach Paper Cutter and I'm going to use the metal ruler. So these are two of the essential tools that you might think as an option to use when you're making albums. So I'm going to use matte board and these tools will help me to cut precisely the desired measurements that I'm opting for. So uh, before I really start working on the project, I would like to show you a, a little bit of the measurements so that you are with me and you don't get astray of the measurements and stuff. So what I'm going to do is we will make the album base and binding with the matte board and then we'll cover it up with pattern papers. So. First, we will cover it with a cardstock, folding it up, and then we'll cut the pattern papers accordingly and cover all the different sides of the album. So, I believe I would catch you up later and as you enjoy the process of the video, and I'll fast forward it a little bit. So, whenever you feel that you are having trouble in following the measurements, you can always pause the video and check the measurement and start working on your project alongside with this video. Eventually, as I was making the video, I decided to have a magnet flap and as you can see, there are like two buttons of magnet and this was the time when I was trying to adjust and place it right on the correct position. So just for a cross and quick reference, I'm showing you the manual for the inside pages to show the triangular flap that I'm intending to create in this. So yes, I'll tell you a bit more in details in the later half of the video. Now moving to the inner pages of this cute little album. So this album I created it for my friend who recently had twins. So I just thought this would be a special way of treasuring all the baby pictures and I really adored them. 
I thought why not make a special album using the beautiful papers of Bob and Betty and utilize it in a special way. So these are all the measurements of the inner pages and the flaps that we intend to create. So I have covered the inner side with the base layer of the beautiful paper. And then I'm going to make the two accordion folded photo mats on the right hand side of my book and the other tri-folded card photo mat on the left hand side. So I'm just using double sided tape and going to adhere my photo mat. So as you can see I'm also using some corner punches. Uh, these punches are really versatile and they are just quick on the go and very easy and gives a very classy look at the same time. So I'm trying to corner punch both the card stock flaps and the pattern papers and yeah that's how you do it. <laughs> so yeah I'm just doing it and I'm going to make two similar designs of the accordion folds and I'm going to wrap it up using some lining ribbon and a brad maybe. Yeah. So yes enjoy doing it alongside me and I will get back to you again after a short while.
Woohoo! That was pretty easy and quick, isn't it? So let's move to decorating the inside of the tri-folded flap. I'm going to layer it with some more pattern papers and some die cuts. Uh, yep, and maybe corner folder. I mean, like, sorry, uh, I'm popping with words. Uh, maybe use a corner punch to add some more classiness and some more elegancy to the album. So, yeah. So once that is done, uh, you can see how cute the corners look now. So yeah, uh, pretty much after that, I'm going to move towards making the outer cover, like decorating the outer cover. So, to be honest, there is no specific way of designing and I don't believe at a personal level that there is any wrong and right in designing. So as long as you feel your heart is happy, whatever you create, it's going to be amazing. That's how it is. So yeah, but then you can always, you know, refer and get inspired by beautiful things and create something similar. And yeah. That is not harmful so yeah as long as you do it so well uh, I love layering stuff so as long as I have die cuts chipboards I tend to layer it and I feel that it adds more dimension and more uh, 3d look and some effects to the entire project when you do it so I'm using the double sided foam tape again to add a little bit dimension and lift the die cuts a little bit so that the picture stands out when you attach it on this uh, frames and I have put a small button just to make it look like a purse kind of thing so yeah it's a little addition but it does make a big difference small embellishments and stuff I was just trying to think if I would put a die cut flower but then I realized no it would be a little bit too much if I had put it inside and I ended up putting it outside. So yes this is pretty much ready and in case I plan to add something else in it and then I realized that okay so every time I was opening the album the tri-folded card was just opening up and I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to remain intact and you know like look like a bag or a pocket so that when someone pulls it out it comes out or else it just stays there just stay there <laughs> so yeah so I thought of adding a magnet in there and it really worked well so and remember when I told you I made a little bracelet so I just fuzzy cut the beautiful uh, small flowers that I had in one of the designs of the uh, floral limb collection and I use the stitches stamp from Market 49 and I love the stitches and I feel that they add beautiful effects to the pattern papers so I randomly stamped it in a border and some edges of my album using archival ink and I believe that really added some extra look to the pattern paper so yes, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and thank you and let me know if you have any queries and comments. I'll be happy to answer you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.